Welcome traders to another Tickmill Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing the 11th of July with me, Patrick Munley. Slow start to the data sheet in, uh, in the US. We only have uh, Fed Speaker Williams on Monday. On Tuesday, we get June NFIB small business optimism, looking for a 93 print there. Cost pressures and labor shortages are the key concerns. We also hear from Fed Speaker Barkin on Tuesday. Then Wednesday, really the main event for next week, it's uh, US June CPI, looking for a 1.1% print there. Um, that headline CPI will be running potentially at maybe 14% month over month rates in a seasonally adjusted and annualized terms with core CPI inflation running at 10% month, on, month over month at a seasonally adjusted and annualized rate. That will be the hottest core reading since June of last year while indicating continued upward pressure upon underlying inflation. And heading into Thursday, we get June PPI looking for a 0.8% print there. Producer prices remain elevated amid supply issues. We also get initial jobless claims, obviously to remain at a very low level, 235k last print. And then we round out the week in America with the uh, July Fed Empire State Index looking for a negative 2.6% print there. Volatile but firm order pipeline to support New York manufacturing. We also get June import price index looking for a 0.7% print. <clears throat> import prices to remain at elevated levels. We then get June industrial production looking for a flat print there, 0%. Volatility continues to linger as firms try to navigate ongoing supply issues. We then get May business inventories, 1.1% expected. Uh, business rebuilding inventories at a very robust pace. And then we round out the week with the July University of Michigan sentiment, looking for 49 there um, versus a 50 print last time out. Inflation and rate concerns still front of mind. So from a technical perspective, dollar index <coughs> traded into the target zone at the 107.30s. And we did see some profit taking there. What I'm looking for as we head into the beginning of the week is any three-way corrective move back into the test, these prior highs and this uh, trend channel support just below the 105 handle, 10490s. Watch for bullish reversal patterns there to re-engage on the long side. And we're now looking for a push-up then into uh, the 10880s as the next upside objective for this move. At this stage, it will really take a close back below this trend line support 10470s to suggest we have a, uh, a deeper corrective move to move back to retest the 10130s. In the Eurozone, um, Tuesday, we get July ZEW survey of expectations. Confidence is on par now with the pandemic lows in the Eurozone. Um, Wednesday, we get the May industrial production. Looking for a flat 0% print there, supply issues are an ongoing headwind to production in the Eurozone. And then we round out the week on Friday with the main trade balance, uh, previously negative 31.7 billion euros. Deficit is to continue to remain wide on energy price pressures. From a technical perspective, Euro dollar uh, found some support at the monthly projected range support down at uh, 10070. Now looking for any three-way corrective move back into those prior lows at the 10340s, 10350s. Uh, if we get up in there, I'm watching for bearish reversal patterns to engage on the short side, targeting a move down to test parity as the next downside objective. At this stage, it would really take a close back through this trend line resistance now at 10470s to suggest we have a more meaningful low in place and a deeper corrective move to trade. <coughs> in the UK, uh, data of note next week is Wednesday's May trade balance. Uh, look, last time out, negative 8.503 billion. <coughs> Deficit is to remain wide based on import strength. And that's the only real data of note next week in the UK. Obviously, the uh, the resignation of Prime Minister Johnson last week. We now have a bit of a political vacuum in place, and, uh, and that's going to 
wind pressure, the BOE in the upcoming meetings and markets see the uh, Bank of England on pause now until we have a resolution of the political landscape in the UK. From a technical perspective, <clears throat> looking for any move back into the uh, 12160s uh, or potentially as high as the trip channel here, 12230s as the next selling opportunity. Watch for bearish reversal patterns to engage on the short side. And the next downside objective is 118.15 to the downside. At this stage, it really will take a close through this trend channel resistance, 122.50s, to suggest we have a more meaningful low in place. And then we would start to be thinking about a move up to test back into the 125.30s. In Japan, uh, Monday we receive May machinery orders. I'm looking for a negative 5.6% print there. Ongoing volatility in investment amid supply issues. And then on Thursday, we get the May industrial production, uh, final estimates, and we're anticipating a negative 7.2% print there. And that's the only data of note next week in Japan. From a technical perspective, continued consolidation. Looking for any push up into the 138 handle. As long as we maintain negative divergence here, we want to engage on the short side. Looking for a move to pull back and retest the support down to 131.20s. And rounding out the week down under in Australia. <coughs> Tuesday, July Westpac, MI consumer sentiment. Looking Last time out, 86.4. Sentiment is very weak, sub 90, even before the RBA's July rate hike. We also get the June NAB business survey, May conditions elevated at plus 16. Confidence cooled from, from plus six to negative four on that print. And then we get June overseas arrivals, uh, prelim currently about a third of the pre-pandemic levels for the arrivals in Australia. And then on Thursday, we get the June employment change, looking for 30,000 there. Labour demand remains robust. Job vacancies are very high. We also get the June employment rate, looking for 3.8% there. Uh, rates continues to lower, holding participation steady at record highs. We also get inflation expectations, uh, well up from 3.5% at the start of 2021, mirroring actual inflation. And that uh, is the main data of note next week in Australia. From a technical perspective, if we can take out the internal trend channel resistance here, 6880s, we look for a test of the main trend channel resistance and the monthly pivot, just above the 70 handle. From there, I want to re-engage on the short side, targeting the uh, weekly equality objective down to 6640s. And just uh, to wrap things up here, let's take a quick look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin traded into our target zone, which was this 22,350 to 22,960 area. We are seeing some supply coming to the market here. So we look for any loss now of the 17,800 level to set up a test of our weekly equality objective to 12,185. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next week, thanks very much.